Wow, it's dense. <laughs> This is close to where that tree was. And I imagine this is kind of close to the same trail. The little, yeah. Okay. Let's see if this trail's, look at that little fox. Let me see if this, no. I, you know what, I don't know what it was. Look, going back, big. But it was really neat because it had like this built-in platform. Awesome. These trails seem so familiar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Be in these little trails all of it. And then watch out for the muck. And remember the muck too. Yeah, but look at the skunk cabbage. Oh, is that what skunk cabbage is? That is skunk is? cabbage. Definitely skunk cabbage. Maybe we'll see Devil's Club. Why is it called skunk cabbage? You know, I think it smells. Hmm. But it's everywhere. Yeah, you see, it's all through here. And I remember these boards they kept putting in the muck like that. How many berries? Oh, there's so many berries. I used to love to pick berries. I didn't ever like to eat them particularly. Do you know which ones are edible and which ones aren't? I do not. Um, I could tell you a blueberry if I saw it. There's a salmon berry probably. And like this... I don't know what that is. Um, and I'm sure I recognize the skunk cabbage because when you're a little kid, it seems neat to yeah. think of skunk cabbage. <laughs> and Devil's Club. Well, Devil's Club was kind of an awareness thing. Yeah. You don't want to touch Devil's Club. No, I would imagine not. International Man of Mystery. And old trails near the fireweed. Um, the skunk cabbage brings back tons and tons of memories. The muck, the uh, boards and stuff crossing the muck. These kind of stumps, um, there seems to be everywhere. I mean, sometimes it seems to be more dirt than stump. <laughs> um, there. Oh. Aww. These look very familiar, too, up here. Bear bread. There's, oh, bear bread. Lots of great bear bread. There's so much, like, different moss. Mm-hmm. But there's no telling how many different species of moss. Mm -hmm. It's just in this one little area. Yeah, lots of natural bear bread. I'm trying to think why these look so familiar. Um, ha. Huh. These are little baby devil's clubs. Really? Look at the thorns and the spikes and everything on them. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Yep, I thought I recognized those wow. leaves. Wow. Some of them get really big and thick and pokey. But yeah, yep. That looks nasty. That's the devil's club. Cool. I got some little cute berries to trick cute. you. Yeah, it looks like so nice and soft on the tree. Uh-huh. All oh, that was horribly nasty stuff. You never get hurt? I got poked a couple of times, but never bad. And I always remember thinking it'd be really fun to have a club made of Devil's Club. <laughs> yep, that's Devil's Club, all right. Very nasty. But the bark apparently has analgesic properties. Mm. There's the airplanes that you have to watch for when you find the drones. This is cool. We got to see the Devil's Club and the Skunk Cabbage. Yeah. Yeah, this would definitely be the kind of trail I would tromp on. Yeah, and, I mean, awesome. and probably this trail, no telling how many times since we were at the fireweed. Uh, and this would have been the same trail. You want to try to cross it? Sure. Yeah, we can cross it. I want to do this trail again with my other little camera device. Okay, I'd be happy to walk out here anytime. 
I wonder if we get Mike out just a little bit on trail like this so he can experience it. Yep, right down there's the river. Here's the International Man of Mystery returning to his roots. Now this trail is actually the iconic quintessential trail that we used to be on all the time. Um, quite remarkable, we saw Devil's Club, Skunk Cabbage, the mushy stumps that are kind of overgrown and going back, mud. The only thing we really haven't seen yet is the musk keg. Um, I mean, we probably have to go somewhere else for that. We are on a little different path right now. I think we're going up to the road. <laughs> 